Okay, so for number 11. So this kind of question is very common in exam. Okay, where they give you the, the rate of something. In this case, it costs the cost of shipping of parcels. Right. How much money does Kim need to pay if she wants to send out a parcel weighing 350 grams? So you need to know how to read the table. So they say that 100 gram and below means less than 100 is $3. 100 gram and lesser is $3. Anything more than 100 gram, it is $2 for every additional 50 gram. Or part thereof means if it's 55, so you must pay... Two dollars plus another two dollars five gram extra. Okay. Now number A. How much does she need to pay if she want to send out the parcel weighing three hundred and fifty grams? So you put three hundred fifty gram like that. The first one hundred gram. You know it is three dollars. So this one confirm. The balance will be three hundred and fifty grams. You take away one hundred gram. You're gonna left with two hundred and fifty grams. So for this 250 grams, you must ask yourself, how many 50 grams are there inside 250? So you take 250 divided by 50 grams. So there are five, five times of $2. Okay. In this case, five times $2 equals to $10. So for 350 grams, she need to pay $10 plus $3 equals to $13. That's the answer for part A. Okay? For part B, if Kim pays $19 for sending out the parcel, what is the maximum mass of the parcel sent out? So now I have $19. So you know that the first one is $3, right? So you take out $3. And that is 100 gram. Okay? The balance will be $19 minus $3. This will give me $16. So now you ask yourself, how many $2 are there in $16? So what you're going to do is $16 divided by $2 equals to 8. There are 8 times of 50 grams there. Okay? So which means 8 times 50 grams equals to 400 grams. Okay, so I want to know what is the maximum. I take 400 grams plus 100 grams. I'm going to get 500 grams. This is the answer for part B. 500 grams. Okay.